What's going on guys? If you give me the next five minutes of your time, I'm going to show you the best defense against the Gun Bunch meta offense in Madden 22 right now. This is after the patch um, and they just released a patch that and honestly like I've been playing defense a lot differently and I think you should be too because defense is hard. It really is. All of us that are playing Madden 22 know this and the way that I'm playing defense right now is a blitz heavy defense. Almost every single play I send at least four to six people at my opponent trying to get pressure. And I'm going to show you my favorite blitz, my favorite concept in the game right now to do this out of. I find that these zones actually do react a little bit to corner routes and crossing routes and things like that nature. Um, but this comes to us out of the nickel 335 odd formation. Now, if you're new to the channel, uh, be sure to subscribe, turn on those notifications so that you don't miss any of our new videos. Also, if you've not picked up my Nickel 335 Odd Defensive eBook yet, it's on sale for just 15 bucks. It's a complete tutorial or complete guide that not only walks you through the best pressures in the entire game, but it also walks you through how to run this defense against several of the meta formations like bunch trips tight end or bunch tight end as well as u trips and other formations as well so if you want to learn all of that material there's a link in the description you can get the guide for just 15 bucks now let's talk a little bit about how we're going to defend gun bunch from this cover to sink in the nickel 335 odd now like i said i'm in the baltimore playbook i think baltimore has the best uh 335 odd in my opinion because it's got the nickel triple the nickel 335 wide 245 double a gap and 245 and we're going to set this up really simple all we're going to do is we're going to baseline we're going to press and then we're going to spread our line we're going to spread our linebackers now when we do this what i like to do is i like to kind of just like flicker that guy down just a little bit just so they might think that we're using him and what i like to do is i like to man him up on the running back and what, the, what that's going to do is it's going to stop or it's not going to stop but it's going to kind of deter a lot of the running back quick throws like mesh post or the running back in route or the table route but it's also going to help us um, in our blitz because if they block the running back he's going to dumb out the blocked running back which is going to allow us to get into pressure now, when I spread my line, I'll always crash my defensive line directly down, just like this right here, or crash them to the right. That's up to you. And then from there, what I like to do is I actually like to play this right here. So I like to use this safety, which means that I'm going to take that slot or that, that solo corner, and I'm going to put him in man coverage. I also like to um, maybe move him inside and back just a little bit if I have a chance to. And then the last step is I'm just going to uh, blitz my slot my slot corner just like that right there so as you see here this is our pressure i'm going to kind of stand like right here it's going to help with inside zones and then i'm basically going to take any crosser that comes across my face if it's a drag if it's a if it's a deep crosser it doesn't matter i'm looking for work over here and what you're going to see is we're going to get some b gap pressure and we're going to get some edge pressure at the quarterback now, what's really nice about this defense is if you wanted to, you could actually leave that soft squat zone up. If you wanted to, you could. If he goes vertical, um, typically this guy is going to take him unless the running back's going on a route, which, again, typically the running back's not going on a route. Now, if the running back does uh, go on a route, obviously we have that man coverage on him. So another adjustment that you could do is you could put that guy on the left in an outside quarter zone you could put him in man coverage you can kind of do whatever you want with him um to be honest with you i like the man coverage assignment because it just allows me to come over here and just be a little bit more active in the passing lanes that are going to be open to my opponent so as you can see right here this is kind of what i do now the last thing that i didn't say before is i do like to bring this guy down and like put him like right here this creates kind of a heavy front if the, in case they run now, if they drop their their tight end and delay fade, what you're going to notice is this blitz should still come off that edge. As you can see right there, we got a little bit slipped up, but typically this blitz is still going to come in consistently off the edge uh, against the gun bunch, which I find very, very helpful. Now, the other thing that I like about this is, like I said, if they, let's say, for example, that they, um, they want to block their running back, okay? So if they want to block their running back against this, we should still be pretty good against a blocked running back, okay? So what you're going to see here, blocked running back, and as you see, we're going to come completely free against the blocked running back. Now, the finale of this is that we're also going to typically be able to come free um, if they block their um, running back and their tight end. So if they max protect, 
we're almost always able to get that linebacker off the right edge uh, to come in completely free. So as I said before, I like to user this or put that guy in man coverage, basically manning up this side. You don't have to leave this zone. If you want to, you can drop this guy to the right side as well. I love this zone and the way that it sits over the middle of the field. So that's just something for you to look into, whatever you want to do. But what you're going to see here is if they max protect, you should be able to get this easy pressure right off the left edge. And as you see, we're just looking for crossing work. Um, the other thing is, Let's say, or for uh, just a second, um, let's talk about that double post uh, meta. So a lot of people like to run the play double post from Gun Bunch, and that features a drag route, uh, uh, in route to the running back, and then a flat route to the tight end. So if you're sitting here like this, and you come down, and you see, oh, they're going to cross her, I'm going to come right back with that. And as you see, the pressure comes in so fast that it's able to force them to hopefully make a mistake. So this is the best coverage scheme to me because it's not really a coverage scheme. It's a pressure-heavy scheme um, that I absolutely love. I find a lot of success with this. And these soft squats on the outside, I just want to spend a few minutes talking about the coverage before we dive down here. But I want you to watch the soft squat zone. The soft squat zone, I think, is really underrated. You're going to see here that he's going to climb with those short corners. Now, if I click onto my guy, that could potentially be an interception uh, as well. The other thing that I like about this coverage is these deep half zones. Um, I actually really like how they play uh, in some respects to things like corner routes. Because if you watch this, what you're going to notice is... You should see how good this deep half zone is going to kind of like fade with that out, as you see right there, and we're able to take that away. So um, that's why I really like this coverage. It, basically what it is, is we're trying to cover short for just two or three seconds, and we're trying to send immense pressure while we're doing so. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the breakdown. If you want to get my full nickel 335 odd defensive ebook, there's a link in the description. We show you how to do this out of several different formations or several different plays and coverage concepts and behind it, as well as how to create two man pressures and all of that fun stuff. So if you want to learn my 335 odd defensive ebook, again, there's a link in the description below. You can get that full defensive guide for just 15 bucks.